Man needs his own territory, and every woman has something to say about it. So what happens when the testosterone boils over and the women say, go build something? It's Manland. How far will a guy go to build his own Manland? Oh, about 70 feet from the main house. Plus, when the new baby needed quiet, this man needed to go underground. And then, this is her idea of a precious moment. And this is his, his own fire escape. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to enter Manland. George here in Clarendon Hills, Illinois. Only about 26 miles from Chicago, the Windy City. There's a rich history here of manly things like the Bears, Deep Dish Pizza, and the Chicago Men's Club. This is Mike McCurry, former Minnesota Viking and present day hero since turning his backyard shed into a men's club. How long you guys had this house? Uh, six, seven years. You did, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were negotiating earlier. I, I said it was eight and she said it was six. We've so been I married think. eight. We've been yeah, about, about seven. You were negotiating? <laughs> and this is Amy McCurry, full-time mother to a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-month-old. In other words, she's really busy. Your man land's out back, right? It's yeah. disconnected? It's the doghouse. Is it the doghouse? Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, the truth is, she was all for Mike having a little space of his own because of a little habit he has. We don't smoke cigars in the house. That was the very queen royal we. <laughs> we do not please ourselves by smoking cigars. Okay, smoking cigars, anything else? Like, do they hoot and holler at the TV, you know, sports and stuff? Yeah. Okay, time to do the math. Here's the main house. That's 2,900 square feet of Amyified girly goodness. Looks tasteful. Flower, flower, flower. Smells great, too. What's that smell? <laughs> That's a really strong candle. It even smells girly in here. <laughs> Out back, mic space. 384 square feet of cigar smoked framing and drywall. But that doesn't stop Amy from trying to break through the force field. My wife actually put that there. Did she do it because I was showing up? I think so. Are you, are you going to move it when, when we leave? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> the flowers out in the front there? Yeah, that would be me. He wouldn't let me bring them in. All right, lines drawn. Time to enter Manland. Thank you, this is really nice. Thank like, you. It's not like a guy in his garage that put up some cardboard and, and some Farrah Fawcett posters. I mean, you actually, you dialed this in. Have you ever uh, used this as a doghouse? I haven't. I've had a friend that's come over and used it as a doghouse. Really? The key is available to them. They know where it is. And I looked out one night and the TV was on. And the next day I got a call and he said I was out there. And I was in the doghouse. <laughs> hey, it wasn't always this perfect specimen of manitude. When Mike first bought the house, this little slice of heaven in the back was more suited for a hermit. It looked like this place that a guy would walk out one day with a big long beard and it had been out there for 20 years and you didn't know it. It was just really rough. But why not just tear it down and start over? Well, Mike saw something underneath all the years of crime. Took the siding off and I found cedar siding. I just uh, stained them. What's so great about cedar? Well, it's resistant to rotting. Plus, once cleaned up, looks pretty sweet. Mike also installed French doors and skylights, making his shed the fanciest in town. Okay, pretty manly outside. Let's take a look inside. I mean, the color is kind of, uh, well, it's yellow. I think that's because that was extra paint from our house. Aha! Double manland points for Mike. Using leftover paint to save money is fine, as long as the paint's not pink. Plus, it doesn't hurt that Mike has loaded the room with other manly items. I went right for it. I got the plasma. Ah, the crown jewel of any man land. A 42-inch plasma, wall-mounted. Looks good. Now the guys can come over and whoop it up. Ah, but this is a men's club, so they're whooping it up in style. Leather couches, these are beautiful. They don't Thank come you. cheap. Well, you know, I'm a bargain you, shopper, you, too. Yeah, yeah, whatever, pal. You got, a couple, you got a couple grand in these, even if you got a sale on them. I didn't realize it was real leather when he was getting them. <laughs> Did he tell you <laughs> so they were vinyl? Here. I mean. No, you might have, I think. I don't know. And nothing goes better with leather than cigars. <laughs> you just hate that in here. It really smells like leather and cigars. It's good. 
It's a guy thing. It's a guy <laughs> smell. <laughs> you hate it. <laughs> What does Amy think of all the albums? Well, most of them were kind of put away, although she allowed me to have some of them on dis display, but um, she allowed you? Allowed. Thank God the albums are out of the house. Really? Yeah, I, there are, those were all in our home displayed, just like that. Junking up the place? Everywhere. Mike has built special shelving to accommodate his vinyl passion, and each LP is stored upright. Mike also has his father-in-law's reel-to-reel -reel from the early 70s. It's kind of like an MP3 player, but bigger, uh, clunkier, and not digital. Nice. He comes over, we play it, and he walks out with a new step. You can come out here and turn it up, crank it up as loud as you want to listen to it, and it doesn't bother the neighbors because it's pretty soundproof in here. Believe it or not, this whole project took about two weeks from start to finish and cost about 15000 not counting the furniture. Yep, Mike has everything he needs. Well, almost everything. Of course, there's the issue of the bathroom that we go back inside. There's no bathroom? No. If they're here for three or four hours, what do you think's happening? I don't know. Is no. it, it, I, do I you or is it? an outdoor facility. <laughs> you go out and hit the tree out in the backyard, don't you? <laughs> sure. I think it's uh, a great place to, to hang out and watch sports, drink a beer, and just, you know, be a guy. I like the, the, you know, the size of the room. Of course, the flat screen TV doesn't hurt. We think of it as an extension of all of our living rooms, so we don't have to sometimes even let them know we're coming over, and we just are here. But the question is, does Amy wonder what really goes on in the men's club? I look out the window every once in a while. Yeah. You know what would be nice? One of those baby monitors, you put it over in the corner. No, we have thought of that. We, meaning my girlfriends. And if they were able to sneak a baby monitor in, what would they hear? You know, guy talk and belch or, you know, two guy things. I think what Jeff is trying to say is, if cleaning up a rundown old shed and filling it up with guy stuff is wrong, baby, I don't want to be right. Coming up next, think men or cavemen, you might be right. And later, hey, where's the fire? Don't know, but we know where you can find the equipment.